here because that plane is just really loud and I don't think you're going to be able to hear me. Hello and welcome back to the Cozy Arts. Ah. <laughs> and greetings from Bowie, my loud chicken, and the rest of the chickens. <laughs> we are outside in my very small, very unimpressive backyard and uh, <laughs> one of the reasons why we haven't done very much with it is this giant swing set which we have we got for free from Craigslist many years ago and uh, it was crooked when we got it <laughs> because it, a tree fell on it at the previous owners and when they fixed it they fixed it crooked and it was sturdy and when we put it together the only way to put it together was crooked and it was sturdy but uh, it's ugly and it's huge and my child uses the swing and my child climbs up the ladder and yells at her friend across the fence but they don't use the slide I think I saw them use the ladder a couple of that swing ladder a couple of times there's a lot of things on this swing set that don't get used and it could be giving us a lot more space and honestly I think when I think when friends have come over their their parents have been a little like I don't want my kid on that swing set it looks janky and it does so we're gonna take it down more specifically I'm gonna take it down I don't think I can do it all by myself but I'm going to start because I have a lot of plans and I don't have a lot of time to get this yard into shape before spring. So let's let's see what we can do. This is ridiculous. I own a stepladder, so I'm going to go and get a stepladder and then we'll get to work. sure I can use a power tool for this instead. can't find the thing that hooks the thing to the thing so we're gonna work on this and then after lunch I'll keep looking or I'll see if my partner can help because I don't know where anything is. But first I'm gonna do the thing I should have done in the first place. It's a good thing that my kid doesn't really use the slide at all because that screw was sheared off. on this side. The slide wasn't really connected to the swing set. Oops.
Um, the next logical step, I think, is to separate the monkey bars from this tower, but I don't have anything the right size for that. So I have to go dig and see if we have anything. Um, I don't, yeah, I don't know. So um, I'm probably gonna eat lunch first though, because otherwise I'm gonna get project hangry. So I'll see you once I figure something out. Hey chicken. Oh, ooh, thank you ladies. This is warm. Hey, no. This is a not not a safe place for chickens to be. Two eggs. Yeah, some of them some of them kind of spun without doing anything, but they'll try to Should we just start sawing it apart? Okay. Can you, is that stuck? Okay. 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 is free. Um, it's essentially stuff that we could just cut to size and use right away. Um, and then this, I got all the screws, all the bolts that would come out, out. And uh, we have this pile here. <laughs> this pile here of stuff that is attached to something else. So I'm just going to go through and cut free as much as I can to get as much reusable wood as possible and grow my reuse pile. There's a little pile. <laughs> um, I gave up. I gave up on this because the saw blade is pretty dull and it was taking forever. But the good news is, it's a three egg day today.
seconds are being so noisy right now. Shh. Okay. Grass time. I have an eco grass blend, which is super low maintenance once it's established. Uh, we shouldn't need to water it. We shouldn't need to mow it. Maybe we can mow it like a couple times a year if we want to. Uh, I think maybe they said it needs to maybe be thatched, but I don't know. Maybe if we just set the chickens loose in it, the chickens will thatch it for us. I'm not sure. But we've got this. <laughs> I did make a mistake uh, <laughs> because I uh, I saw that they said that one pound covered a thousand square feet. And I thought, oh, I've got like probably a 10 by 10 area. So that's a thousand, but it's not, it's a hundred. So I didn't want to be short. So I have two pounds. So I have enough for 2000 square feet of yard, which um, I think maybe if I covered everything, but I'm not gonna do that. I also don't have any good way of distributing this other than by hand. So it's probably gonna eat up a lot more. That's fine. Um, and then I think whatever extra I have, I'm gonna try and save for filling in patches and I'm gonna like seed in protected areas of the chicken yard so they can have grass that they can come up that they can't just scratch to oblivion. <laughs> and then I don't know, if I have a lot more, I guess I'll see if my sister-in-law wants it. I'm tempted to hang on to it to reseed the chicken yard area so that that actually has nice grass if we ever wanna move, um, which I would love to move, but I also don't wanna move my child because we'd have to move so far out into the boonies. Uh, it's just, it's tough for children to grow up so isolated like you can't just take a bus to a job opportunity you can't just you know walk a couple doors down to hang out with your friend so <sighs> that's I, I'm torn I'm torn but the point is I have a lot of seed and uh, maybe I'll give the rest of it to my sister-in-law or something once I'm done with this but it was actually pretty cheap and it came pretty quickly so if I ever want to have a bigger project I can get my hands on more, so it's fine. It's fine. What I'm gonna do today, because we have a bunch of snow in the forecast, <laughs> and this is a cool season blend, and you can put it down before winter, and it's fine, like it'll it'll survive a snowfall. I'm gonna put it down today so that the snow will water it, because I don't actually have my hose hooked up, because it's you know it's been pretty mild all winter, but now we're going through a little cold a cold patch. Um, so hopefully after this batch of snow rolls through, I can hook up the hose and actually water my lawn. But in the meantime, I'm gonna let the sky do that for me. So I'm gonna put this grass down and then I'm gonna rake it in. And then I'm gonna cross my fingers so that birds don't eat all the seeds. I guess I can check it. I mean, we probably aren't gonna get like a sticking amount of snow for a few days. So I can probably check it tomorrow and maybe give it a little more, give it a little more seed if need be. But right now, I'm gonna spread it, I'm gonna rake it. Also, do you like my new coat? It's from Noise with a Z, which I have never heard of, and it was a little like, are you a real company? Um, but yeah, I mean, it doesn't quite fit me right because the it's got a waistline, like above my bust line, but that's kind of to be expected. Anyway, it's pretty cute, it's pretty warm. It's totally vegan which was, it's really hard for me to find coats because down just makes me incredibly itchy. I can't handle down anymore and uh, all the warm jackets are down. But yeah, this is totally vegan so I can actually wear it. And it's super cute. Ah! And it was on like super sale, so. I think I'm pretty heavy-handed because I did actually burn through a lot of that um, had a piece of glass. So uh, hopefully it should come up nice, nice and thick. It is a mix of fescues. So we've got Blue Mesa Sheep Fescue, Intrigue Chewings Fescue, fescue Sword Hard Fescue, Celestial Red Fescue, Boreal Creeping Red Fescue, and Aurora 2 Hard Fescue. Um, and it looks like most of these are from Oregon and one of them is from Canada. So we'll see. 
Let's see how it does here. Um, ooh, just got a little message. Rake it in time. What did I do with my rake? <sighs> I am tempted to give it an initial watering in, but that would require either unwinterizing my hose just before a snowstorm or filling up about a bazillion bottles of watering jugs. Maybe not. Lots of kale and cabbage kale and this one that's closest to the chicken pen. And the chickens are very noisy right now because they hear me there. So it's nice and close so we can just rip stuff off and throw them at the chickens. It's really windy so I'm hoping that my windscreen does its job. The grass has grown in and it is full of weeds but the grass is really soft so um, I, as the grass gets more established, I might be a little more ruthless about trying to get the weeds up. But right now, it's like, do I pull up the nice, delicate grass <laughs> roots, or do I go after the big, the big mean weeds? We're getting lots of peas. This is my child's garden, although uh, I'm pretty much the one who tends it and plants it and eats the peas. I beat them to it um, but yeah we haven't done as much with this one this year but I've got some peas it's mostly just I've got an empty spot here because there's something that keeps something that keeps digging in there and the service ooh, some of the service berries have nastiness on them we've got service berries that are starting. Right now they're small and green and hard, but they will get big and purple and juicy. And all the plants that I planted, for the most part, have made it. Lots of weeds have come in, so there's stuff I need to get rid of. And then we have a hollyhock that will never get enough sun here, but I guess I'll let it try. The hardy kiwi vine. Hardy kiwi vine is really going for it. I've never actually seen it flower, so I don't know if we'll ever get any berries off of these guys, but uh, it's here and it's beautiful. Let's see that. I made little tags for all of the edible perennials so that if we ever move, whoever lives here next will know what's what. And then things that I love and things that I, I don't love. Um, I kind of I love the rocks. And I added some lawn sculptures that I made and I didn't film making them because it was my first time and I was kind of overwhelmed with doing it and not filming it. But I uh, love the rocks because the rocks add a lot of visual texture. Um, I love that we have a trellis, but it doesn't really do the job of hiding the compost. So. I don't know what to add, but I might at some point add a little something more so that the trellis is, so that we don't see the compost. And of course we have the crane so <laughs> Outdoor noises in the city. And of course we have the climbing structure so that the child can still 
climb up and creep on the neighbors, and then they have a little place to hang out in there. Uh, it does sort of rock gently. I don't think it quite gives the same input as the swings do, uh, but if they really need that proprioceptive feedback, we do have a swing in the basement. So this is our beautiful, lush backyard at the end of June in the first year of the planting of all these beautiful natives that are gonna get bigger and more bloomy every year, which is exciting. Thank you so much for watching. I shall see you next time. Bye.